Hi everyone, my name is Asma Atif and I am a student of uh, Global MBA 2017. The purpose of recording this video is to express my interest in taking part in the World Government Summit that's going to be happening in Dubai in 2018, in February. I'm based in Dubai, so I'm all the more excited to take part in that. Well, about my interest in the future of governments, that stems out from the pros and cons of globalization, a process that we see happening all around us. But still we feel that the significance of local borders remain as important as ever. And so some of these challenges, which we call global challenges, should have a local focus as well as global approach. I see top three challenges confronting humanity today. One is environmental protection and sustainability. Second is actually even more crucial, which is creating more winners rather than losers when we talk about economic integration. And the third one is relevant to certain parts of the world, which is about nuclear security and strategic balance. So when we talk about these challenges, we see that there is a seismic shift in the expectation of citizens that they have from their existing current and future governments. So governments are no more about controlling people or governments are no more about organizational silos. They are no more about governing on people. They're about governing with people. It's about organizational networks, and it's about involving people more and more in the government so that they don't see detached from the government. Other than that, what I see is that, why would I like to attend the summit? Actually, being part of the Global MBA, and especially innovation, entrepreneurship, and design, I actually find it incredibly interesting to do all the mind share and exchange of knowledge and experiences in the field of technological innovation. And especially, that should be used or directed to designing better citizen welfare models. Some of the skills that I think I can leverage on the Global Universities Challenge is again, around creativity and innovation. And that should be around the engineering design to ensure that we put in place systems that have the least negative externalities. To name a few, Things that I bring to the table are actually cybersecurity, asset management, energy management, and all across Internet of Things, connecting people and assets together so that we can achieve lesser carbon uh, emissions and more carbon credits, and eventually there are less negative externalities for people. Some of the projects that we have done in the past that I have been part of uh, with the team is uh, the construction of Command and Control Center that we did for uh, the world's largest district cooling company called Empower, which is based in Dubai. That's the Emirates Central uh, Cooling Agency. And that's provide district cooling service to uh, pretty much all the people in Dubai. So we constructed a command and control center for them. That was the biggest, through which all the assets were integrated over IoT and that have reduced the carbon footprint and increased operational efficiency and availability to the citizens. So that's one of the projects that has actually not only contributed to the well-being of the citizen welfare, but also has benefited environment as well as the service provider. So these are some of the considerations I'd like the team to consider uh, when it comes to uh, evaluating my application for participation in the, in the summit. I'm extremely excited and willing to, to work with the people and be part of the team and uh, win the challenge for Imperial College. So thank you so much for listening and I look forward to being selected and being part of the team. So see you all in February here in Dubai. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.